Hello everyone and welcome back to Strictly Speaking, the Strictly Come Dancing podcast that you guys decided to vote for us to make sure we went ahead and did. I'm Ash and I'm joined by Piggy. Currently cosplaying as Piggy's favourite boy, Sean O'Hare. About um, one of you are going to get who Sean O'Hare is and then the rest of you are going to be like, was she famous? No, he wasn't. I see, was yeah, a- and uh, just the funny bit about this, just... just Look, all right. I'm wearing a shirt. I'm wearing a wearing a blazer. You don't want to. You don't want to see below the camera here. It's uh, it's a mess. It's been a while since I've needed to wear a proper like shirt. And Jesus Christ, it is. Oh yeah, yeah. I can feel my back fucking pulsing out of this fucking shirt right now. <laughs> uh, something I want to something I want to say is because I had my webcam on and Ash didn't, so I was just watching a new video by Solid JJ, and I was like, yeah, yeah, this is an interesting video. And Ash like, hello? Hello? Anyone there? Hello? Hey. And then he just... And then he just types, I, and I look over and I'm like, oh, oh, you can have your webcam on. It would have been better. I would have noticed. Right yeah, away. I thought about it, but I'm like, ah, fuck it. But yeah. Hello? Um, episode two of Strictly Speaking, as said before, the podcast voted on by you. I'm not... Well, we haven't actually talked about this beforehand, but maybe in the future, once Strictly's over, maybe we just go... You know, you guys want us to try out some different shit, because, uh, well, obviously since last week, Strictly was very like, ah, oh, here's this person, here's what they do, here's how they feel, here's their pro. But now, well, now they're only gone and bloody dancing every week, so, you know, whilst watching it, been fucking plugging away, just fucking typing all the time, Piggy's like, 6 out of 10, bud. Very good. I'm just like, fuck it. The form was fucking awful. Who the fuck showed you how to dance? You can't fucking dance. you garbage. And I... <laughs> Something I want to chime in here is we were, we were... Because we watch it together. Because if I watch it by myself, Ash knows I won't watch it. Um, it's the kind of thing, like, it's two mates. So, like, we, were, we, we weren't very critical. Like, Ash said some... Well, except for Les Dennis. And then the minute that last guy comes on, I'm like, oh, it's an Urbana song. Please tell me it's going to be a good one. Dan, da, da. And I'm like, bollocks, fuck this. Yeah, arguably one of the best dances of the night. And Piggy's like, they're ruining Nirvana. <laughs> it's like, it's a good dance, you motherfucker. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what we've been waiting for the whole night. And then Piggy's like, they're Nirvana. Why didn't they do a different Nirvana song? Piggy, this is the only Nirvana song people know. People say they like Nirvana. They have the T-shirt. And they know smells like teen spirit. It's all that fucking happens. <laughs> Stop giving out about the cover. Uh, because to me, uh, that's quite therapeutic, me, really. To me personally, I, I just prefer if you can't really sing like the singer, don't sing. Because I don't like it's a, it's just an epic I have. I, I'm that kind of person. Like it's like all the uh, Nirvana and Oasis cover bands. I'm like if if you can't sing like the singer that like you're trying to impersonate. Then don't fucking sing it. Yeah, but you know, it's kind of like neither here nor there. Maybe you shouldn't. Like there were, maybe you should, there was you, may, you may you can take a song in a slightly different state. This isn't this isn't the whole point of this. That was simply yeah, but, uh, to have a bit of like a haha funny. But ultimately But uh, one point I wanna make is um there used to, uh, I remember with COVID hit, I know this is just a story, because I, I I usually give out about cover bands. And there's this guy's like, Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna sing all these songs, and then he gets to Oasis. No, no, you know, anger, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, man, you're a fucker. Oh, could wait. Oh. <laughs> Just like, like, like three stages through a poo. Like, it's, um, because for people who want to know, Liam doesn't sing out of his mouth, he sings like there. So he strains his vocals. And people try to replicate that, but it's very fucking hard because uh, you're not supposed to sing like that. Obviously, I know this because I used to sing, so. You're supposed to sing normally. You're not supposed to go, uh, Don't look back in anger. It should sound like the Macho Man. <laughs> well, hey, one, one, one of these one of these editions, maybe we'll get the Piggy sing some tune. Strictly Come Dancing special. Come but there we are. Um, come out and fight me like a man. <laughs> wonderful. Without fail, every conversation mentions the black and tans. Tremendous. <laughs> Just like mentioning Savile, the bingo cards fucking piss at this point. <laughs> not even any point trying it. The creature's a habit. But let's get into the second episode of Strictly Speaking. Um, just some brief essential surface. It starts off with a lovely, like, on set, like, on, not on set, like an on location shoot 
all these dancers dance and then all these like fucking mountains and like castles and running around all that we really had to say is fuck me would have been cold in those fucking outfits good lord good um, lord like I, I imagine it's up north kind of where they're shooting because you can't like you can't go to glastonbury and it's fucking you know all you see is fields like i assume this is shot up where the lovely land is where it's lovely and green so like considering they're probably on the west or east or whatever they're on like they're near the ocean so like the, the wind coming in would be very brutal to you like imagine trying to dance then then i hear i i can feel you i can i can the timing the time is really feeling i can feel you it's just like sorry me nipples are really cold <laughs> 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 fucking poking out of them yeah um and then we get like a very like kind of it was a very central like opening dance to start the night it was it was all like black and red it was a bit moody it was a bit intense it was dancing to everybody wants to rule the world i mean it's <laughs> it's one, one of the fun points and one of the funny points i feel with dancing is when you're dancing you're dancing with such intensity that like everybody just looks like they're about to like fucking go off stage and just have the biggest shag of their lives it's like you know, it's, fucking... it's so intimate it's so fucking it's a very sexy medium it depends on who's doing it because if you have like your dad who you know is a couple of guinnesses down you know and he has a big gut dude, like if he's on the dude, dude. if he's on the dance floor like he, you definitely know he's not pumping but you exactly. see a sexy man on the you see a sexy man on the dance floor you definitely know he's grabbing that woman backstage he's literally like me and you now love and he's fucking like, doing it like, yeah um but you know so your we dad, are going to go not. into the we're gonna go through dance by dance, giving our scores, giving our little reviews. Um, who knows how it'll shape up, really? But first up was Adam Thomas. Um, I would introduce him. I'll introduce him again. We introduced him last week, but if you don't know who they are by now, you know, should probably start to know. Not saying you can't fuck up the names, because the names will be absolutely butchered, but that's just an us problem. It's not a them problem. First off was Adam Thomas and Luba. Adam Thomas, obviously formerly of Emmerdale fame, played Adam Barton in Waterloo Road, playing Dante Charles. You know, a member of that family who's been around in pretty much every fucking soap everywhere. They're dancing to the cha-cha uh, to Waffle House by the Jonas Brothers. Um, I noticed how you didn't give out about the Jonas Brothers song. Uh, that's, you know, you, you can't be giving out about Nirvana and not giving about the Jonas Brothers. Uh, I only know one Jonas Brothers song, and it's not even a Jonas Brothers song. It's a cover. It's the yeah. year three thousand. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I've been to the year three thousand. But yeah, I yeah, suppose the, you know, a, a lot of the build-up is mostly just Adam being like an excitable little fucking child, like a little puppy. Like, are we dancing now? Are we dancing? And it's just like, yes, Adam, we're dancing. But you know, the dancer was set in a Waffle House. And generally, we don't really need to go through the dance. You've already fucking seen it at this point. Um, essentially, Piggy, what did you think of Adam's uh, cha-cha to Waffle House? He's an, the Waffle I don't have the songs down, by the way. So I have some like, of them. Sorry. I don't have a lot of them. <laughs> um, I, I This was at the point where I was typing on Discord, so I wasn't putting jotting down names. So I just put the guy in blue doing the cha-cha-cha. Uh, asked you have to correct me multiple times in the call because I keep putting it down as the cha cha slide, <laughs> but he asked you telling me it's the cha 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 or just, the cha cha. It's just the cha cha. But, but like, every I... time, like, why is there another fucking cha cha slide? It's just like that's the dance. That's not the <laughs> fucking dance. That's the song. Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> It's like when you're watching uh, something uh, like a wrestling match with your friend, and like this this Mexican luchador comes out, and they're like, hey, "It's Rey Mysterio." You're like, no, that's Rey Phoenix. That is Rey. And then like this big, tall Mexican wrestler comes out. Hey, it's Rey Mysterio. No, it's not Rey Mysterio. It's fucking Paul. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Gary. But yeah, um, he's trying to bend his knees. He's an all right dancer. I think he's done all right. Could do a little bit more rhythm, and he got the robot in. So it, uh, you know, I'm not gonna give my score yet. Yeah, we'll give um, a score at the end. Yeah, um, I th it, it, their names was Angie and Carlos, wasn't it? Or am I thinking of a different no, no, one? No, no, no. This was Adam. Oh, that... That, this was Adam and Luba. Oh, Luba. Uh, yeah. So, so yeah, I just have one more thing to say about that, but that's my score. All right. 
Uh, my take was, it was basically, it wasn't the most technically sound dance. He was quite like, he was quite wooden. He was quite like static. It's like, oh, let's do the robot. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, all right, maybe maybe it ne needs a bit of work like he's not n not exactly very like technically sound but the dance was made significantly better because you know he's fucking smiling the whole time he looks like he's having a like a fantastic time he's having great fun um i thought the moves was good i thought the coordination between the two is good like it's a decent start but it's not really anything to get excited about um i got a 19 from the judges and it got a solid four from me. It was just very meh. It wasn't anything special. There were clearly much better dancers on display. And this was just, you know, hopefully he improves a lot. Because there's some promise. Your scores, Biggie. Uh, five out of ten. You know, it was good for me, you know. Um, not the best. Not the worst. You know, he's, he, he's like that one boxer, you know. You want to root for but you know he's not going to win the match. So basically, any boxer against Jay pa Jake Paul, you know you want him to win, but in the end, he's going to come up second. Like, quite yeah. literally. Like, you know, and it was a... The one thing I'm, I'm, I'm not going to dwell on about too much, because I'm, let's be honest, I'm a fucking idiot. This is probably my first full season of Strictly. I've watched bits before. I don't really know what I'm talking about. But as we all do when we watch Strictly, we, we, we like to think we picked up some bits. It's like, yep. Yeah. All right, I've heard, of the, I've heard the judges shit on these people like 20 times a season. I know what's going on. So if you get some very factually incorrect uh, critiquing from me, I'm trying my best here. <laughs> but there we are. So, you know, it was a fairly all right dance, but there wasn't much to write home about. Um... Next came out Carlos and Angela Scanlon. That is the Irish lady who I think she does some presenting. She's on the one show. Um, you know, that sort of character. Last week she was put in a potato field deep within the famine. <laughs> Pale skin to no end. Um, Remember your place. <laughs> we won the war. You lost. Um, and yeah, she's dancing with Carlos. Carlos, who's probably one of my favorite, like, dancers. He's got this weird energy that's kind of... He's just... You know how some people call themselves quirky, and they're just, like... They're just slightly mental. Well, he's just... He's just slightly weird, and it's great fun. Um, I didn't get the, uh... I didn't get the dance to this, but they're doing a tango. Obviously, tango's very, like, fucking static. Like, fucking throwing everybody around. I, I don't know. And it was clearly very much the same in this stance as well. Because, you know, she came out fucking hair all tied up in a bob. Like a fucking Russian headmaster. Like fucking eyeliner thick is no end. Just like, we fucking, you fucking dance in the fucking tango, motherfuckers. Whoa, whoa, Jesus. Um, I simply said, actually, you should go first with this one. Didn't have much, and um, Angie and Carlos were good in my opinion. Love a good tango blast. Would give them a chips and curry for it. Six out of ten. Yeah, very, very piggy answer. Uh -huh. Six. I, I don't know if I should have kept my score, but I did. Ah, well. Um, I simply said it was a pretty convincing first dance. It shows some signs of like some genuine talent there. You know, she managed to managed to get all the performance like very structured in. It was supposed to be an intense and serious fucking display. You know, very angry dance. Said it was intense and drip was with a very stern seriousness. Very positive signs for the future. Um, once again, quite intense. She was good at like, she was very good at like pointing all the fucking arms and the legs and the fucking feet and all of the important stuff and. I thought it was, it stood out to me because there were a decent amount of spins and a lot of like very fast like footwork, which ultimately is probably quite a fucking hard thing to do because, well, these people have only been dancing for a week. So ultimately, I gave it a six. The judges gave it a 21. Um, pretty reasonable. I thought it was very good. Um, I think my scores are slightly inflated. Uh, this week simply because it is the first week of dancing so you have to take into account they started dancing on fucking monday <laughs> like when it was monday i still had a job on monday 
It's not been that fucking long. All right, it's not been that fucking long between when they've had to practice this, perform, get in costume and do all this. So a lot of my rankings will be slightly swayed a little bit higher as this is the first impressions. You only get one of these and this is probably going to mold a lot of people's expectations as to how well you can do. Fair enough, fair enough. I uh, do agree with that point. Um, my 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 points are sort of based off if I like them or not, just being honest. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I think it was good. It was a good dance. Yeah, not much to say. Like, I'm not going to critique their footwork on this. They're literally very wooden. Like, if they literally mm. are wooden. <laughs> like, they oh. are wooden like a chair. It's all right. Like, that... There's definitely some of that later. <laughs> yeah, but, again... Great, great. I don't like. I I can analyze East Enders because I can shit on them. But I don't really <laughs> want to shit on the dancers because at least I'm shitting on the characters on East Enders. <laughs> These are real people doing dances. I can't really be like, you're shit, you're shit. Like, well, they are real people. I I do wonder the difference between now and in about 15 weeks, and you're gonna be like, the footwork's off, the composure's terrible, it's not intense at all. I was I wasn't lapped into the story. <laughs> Four out of ten. <laughs> you know, I I'll see, to. I'll see the progression. Whether I suddenly become the nice judge and Piggy's the fucking bad one, where currently I'm the one who's put a bit more thought into actually going. I I'd like to believe I know some things, but yeah. Um, so that was Carlos and Angela. Uh, Scanlon, that is not Rippin. Um, next up is Eddie Cady, the comedian from the Congo very like explosive like very high energy kind of like character portrayal they're doing the quick step um and you know very like a lot of footwork a lot of like fucking moving around the dance floor um so yeah piggy what did you reckon of eddie and karen's quick step i don't really want to give what i've written down but that sweater reminds me of uh, a not so nice person um, who hosted a lot of TV oh. shows, main, mainly Fat Albert. They um, did. <laughs> um, so I, 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 I couldn't, like, I understand people are going to say you're racist because he's black, but that sweater just took me out of it. I was like, no. It was a bit of a it, Cosby sweater, let's be honest. Yeah. I didn't want it was to a say bit that. It's a Cosby did, sweater. Because I didn't want you to go, no, no, it's not, it's not, because <laughs> he's black, isn't it? But, like, that sweater just. I wish someone just went home. Maybe, maybe not wear that sweater. Like maybe not. But that's just my tag. I, you can wear what you want. But if I see someone next week coming out to a gold tracksuit <laughs> with a big cigar, I'm gonna be like, holy shit, holy shit, mate. Go back to that dressing room. Um, but that's just me. I'm sorry. Like if I'm sorry if I brought that up. If I, if I wasn't supposed to. But that sweater just like it really took me out of it. Like yeah. I couldn't look at the dance. I was just. I, I'm like that. I was like that war soldier, you know, like when you go, Granted, how's the war? And then, then he just, in his mind, he sees himself shooting at the Nazis and like on the battlefields of Normandy. I was just like that, <laughs> thinking of Cosby, and I was like, fuck's no. sake. Um, but yeah, um, uh, yeah, so, and it also reminds me of Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah, he did, of, did do the uh, Carlton at the start, you know. Yeah, and hopefully, because Carlton doesn't like when people do his dance, hopefully he doesn't sue them. Because, eh, uh, apparently Carlton is like that, apparently. I mean, he was on a season of Strictly, like, not too long ago. Yeah, but he don't was, steal his dance. He was all right. Um, um, so, I, my, 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 basically, because of the sweater, I'm giving it a 4 out of 10. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I simply said, essentially... He he he's a very large and like strong looking man, but you wouldn't really believe it in the way that he danced. He was very much dancing down to his partner. It was very like, oh, I'm just gonna hunch over now. And it's like, yeah, but you're you're large, you're fucking big. You know, dance with a fucking like huge frame. Use all of your like long ass limbs. Um, but you know, I essentially for someone who's got such an explosive personality, it felt like the dance was particularly. I thought it was quite limiting to what he could have shown. Um, it was a solid first dance, um, but it feels like it could, it could be larger. It feels like by the end, he's going to be doing these big, like, elaborate fucking set pieces and, like, really huge, like, you know, like really huge explosive numbers. It feels like that's how it's going to go. 
said he shows good signs with some with stable enough footwork and has a strong stage presence. I said it feels like he may fluctuate on the theme, like maybe you know maybe he's doing like a serious like salsa and it's just like ah it's just not you mate, it's just not fitting the it's not fitting the vibe. Uh, <laughs> It's not not fitting the vibe. <laughs> um, but yeah, fairly strong outing. Uh, he has a very like strong energy that you can kind of like, you can kind of get it from the screen. You know, he's a very like kind of, I don't know, it's infectious. Uh, but essentially you said once the fundamentals are ironed out, he'll be pretty competent. Uh, but it was a six from me and a 22 from the judges. Um, Just want to add on like, again, um it was pretty good again and it was just again i was taken up with this weather but again hopefully that doesn't hamper anyone else's views it's just me being an idiot like i i just you know i'm just an idiot like that where i was like <laughs> Ash was like he's a lovely dancer and i was like yeah but he's wearing a cosby sweater and that's like yeah i love his dancing and i'm just sat there like God. yeah I, I can't i can't I can't wait till till we reach certain points where suddenly there's like an oasis song and biggie's like ah they're ruining the oasis and i'm like Actually, fucking, I don't mind watch because... the fucking dance, motherfucker. This is the whole point of the show. The show's about the dance. It's not about the fucking song. They <laughs> butcher all the fucking it. songs. They're all garbage. They're all shit. That, if, the ba- if the band member starts, like, he starts has his hands behind his back and he's like that, don't look back. Get out. Right. I'm like, holy shit, That's get back. Just... Get back. <laughs> the, the, um, the, music's, the music's only half the important part. Um, anyways, that is all I have to say. Um, we're swiftly going through this. Quicker than strictly is. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Fucking hell, don't want to be... I look forward to when people get eliminated so the time slowly just, just gets a bit less. Because fucking hell. It was good fun. It's good fun, but 15 fucking separate dances and they only dance for 90 seconds each. Which, you know, that's reasonable. But ultimately... It's a fucking two-hour show. They're only dancing for 90 seconds. Stop fucking padding it out, you bastards. Um, but yeah, uh, moving on to one of the surprise. One of the very big surprise, like, performances of the night. It was Angela Rippon and Kai with a cha-cha dancing to the... To the, you better get this party started. Um, I just want to proudly say that I did pick her as my little dark horse type character. And fuck me, was she absolutely fantastic. Um, this lady's 78 years old. I can't move that well. I'm 23. 22, aren't you? I'm 22. It's even worse. But like, essentially... Kai realized that ultimately she's not going to be able to fucking waltz around the floor. You know, she's 78 years old. She's nearly 80 years old. Like, she, she's not going to be able to do a bunch of, like, flips and a bunch of spins and a bunch of stuff. But ultimately, she she basically, she fucking stood there and she looked fantastic and just did exactly what she was supposed to. Less is more. There's absolutely zero wasted movement. Everything impresses. She was really, really good, and, like, the way they worked around her, like, age. weaknesses and her age, like, absolutely no fantastic. Well, she's 78 years old, can't read, really t- like, this This is a credit to it. Look at how fucking amazing she was. And that, like, that, um... like, little leg fucking, like, that fucking leg stretch, like, my lord. What? How is she even doing that? Fantastic stuff. Um, oh, products. Oh, products. What do you reckon? What do you think of uh, Angela Rippon? Um, uh, compared to Les Dennis, and sorry, Les, <laughs> I, I know we'll be burying you later on, but um, but uh, she, like the problem is, she was like that. You know, I'm 78. You know, I won't, I won't be able to go like Bobby Brazier. And they went. We clearly know that. Whereas Les meant, fuckers, I've got this. Fucking spin me around. I'll do fucking. <laughs> I'll do that. I'll do all of that jazz. Like he was, he was doing his best Elvis, and like clearly that he didn't work. But we'll get into that later on. But what my point is, <laughs> it's better to know your weaknesses and strengths compared to knowing your weaknesses but not your strengths. Because again, Les is a great example where he he went. 
Fuck it, I'm only in my 60s, lads. I've got mm. this. I have got this. I am the shit. Whereas Angela knew that she was, she knew her her age. She was like, I may not be as frail. I might not be as um, strong as the others. Yeah. So you basically carry me. Yeah. You you, you but, work around me. I will fucking I will do my bit. Just make me look really good. And that's generally the sign to a really strong partnership. Um. And I'm quite. I'm just. I'm quite proud to have picked her for my little dark horse, rather than picky picking um, Les Dennis. Who? Uh... Oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Pick, I'll compare Les Dennis to a wrestling match that no one should watch later on. And you might know the match. It was in Saudi Arabia. So there's a hint. Yeah, got um, it. So yeah, the um, just my thoughts on Angela is uh, they're doing a cha cha. She's got good. She's got good hips. I like a robe. Her robe was very wrestling. Like it was a fucking like I'm going out there and put on a 60 minute classic, and none of you fuckers can stop me. Like I love the robe. Anyone who has that kind of Ric Flair robe, you're immediately getting points from me because, like, it's just like it's not because of them wearing it. It's because of the artist is the artist who put the work in to make the robe. Yeah. But I often I often wonder this. It doesn't matter what I'm watching. Them kind of entrance robes and shit. What do they do with them after, after like they're done with it? Do they go home and like, yeah, you know, them and, up, like, put them in, put them in the cupboard? Fuck's sake! Like, cause I'm trying to imagine, like, imagine Angie, like, she orders a takeaway and she has nothing on, and then she comes down with that big fucking robe on. Like, <laughs> My lads, like, oh Jesus! Um, but yeah, yeah, I like to roll. Um, her form is top tier, so I'm giving her a nine out of ten. She, she was honestly one of my favourites. Like the way she got that leg up, it definitely you definitely knew she was a player back in the day. <laughs> like you you know that I, I I'll be honest, I didn't actually note down what she got from the judges, but she I personally I I rate her like an like a like an eight. It was just a very like basically you can tell she was pretty like she she's earned her fucking stripes. She seems like a cool ass woman. Um, she got a twenty eight, which was actually quite a common score this week. Or was it twenty nine? Either way, there was a lot of very close scores. This sh- the, this show was quite a it's quite a packed and quite a tense kind of undergoing, but it was pretty good. Uh, but I think Angela Angela stole the night for the first half, but there was actually a lot of very good yet to come but next up is nikita kanda and gorka doing the waltz um this one hmm i personally i like this one a bit i didn't really think it was that interesting it wasn't a very nothing really happened in this dance they just fucking stood in two different places for a solid 90 seconds like it was, I thought it was supposed to be like a nice, slow, drawn out, like emotional, like ah, oh, this romantic, this is lovely. Fucking words, fucking go, but George, calm it down, lad. I thought it was gonna like ramp up into a much bigger, a much more explosive, much more interesting like finish, a much more interesting take. But it was elegant, but nothing really stood out for me. What I didn't necessarily like so much is, um, and the judges said this too. Is it, it feels like Gorka just fully led this and strongly, powerfully went, you're fucking coming with me. So, like, sometimes it just felt like instead of it being a partnership, it was Gorka fucking dragging her through the whole thing. Um, uh, um, people, a... don't care. Sorry to interrupt you, but I just want to quickly mention. If you're going, but how long Angie was carried, there's a difference. Angie was carried, but she was putting her work in. It's like, it's like if me and Ash had to carry a bucket up the hill and the bucket is full of cement. Like, and Ash, Ash mainly, so he's holding one end. And I'm playing, I'm just like, um, not even grasping I'm just like, hovering over it. And Ash's yeah. like, fucking hell, this is heavy. I'm <laughs> clearly not holding it. I'm just like, bundling over it. And he's like, yes. there's a difference between being carried and being carried. Like, again, it's, you either put your work in, or you just stand there and let everyone else work around you. I suppose it's not to say that she did a bad job. I think there was a lot of very... Excuse me. There are a lot of very good signs of, like, being talented. It's just the dance didn't really... It didn't really tell us anything, you know? Like, it was a nice little romantic-looking waltz. 
But Sorry for laughing. There was, the there was no... <laughs> I've gone full wanky judge now. Like, the story was there, but I don't know anything more about Nikita. I don't know anything more about Gorka from that dance. It was just there. See, see, I feel like I'm fucking. I feel like I'm watching a Christian match with the amount of times I have to say footwork. Because because for people who don't know, Christian is very great. That's why everyone goes. The footwork he has is all. Oh, it's unreal. So I feel like I'm. I'm fucking listening to all of these wrestling YouTubers tell me how great his footwork is. The amount of times I have to repeat Never heard it. that in my life, but yeah. Yeah, no, people always go, oh, did you, did you look at Christian? All the rest of say, it's great footwork. And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no, I'm listening to that guy. He's now going about his footwork. But, yeah. Um, let, uh, Nikita and Gorka, they did the waltz. They were very short. Yeah, it was a very short dance. It was basically Gorka carrying Nikita. It might have been the other way around. I don't know. And, basically, it was just, you know, it's all right. Um... I like their stuff. The four bar was it was alright, you know, you know, it wasn't that good, but um, definitely needs room for improvement. The what, there will I, be. Yeah. Oh, no, the one thing I just really remember, which really annoyed me, is they had fucking smoke on all the feet. I'm trying to look at how they're dancing. There's all these fucking fog on the floor, and I'm like, fuck off, just <laughs> get the fuck out of the way. I'm trying to look how they're fucking doing. <laughs> Please, just, just uh, not, don't hide the footwork. Be like if Les fucking stood behind the bar in his fucking thing. It's like, it's not the point. I'm supposed to look at this bit. Fuck's sake. Um, but yeah, it gets a 7 out of 10 for me. Not the worst dance we've seen, but um, <laughs> he's yet to come. He has yet to come. Um, so we get on to the next Nikita. I, I did, didn't actually give my, uh, oh, didn't actually give my, my score. I gave it a 5. It was... It was very meh, very mid, the definition of mid. Nothing really came out of it, but it was okay. Uh, good, duh, duh. That got an 18, so one of the lower scores on display. It was just not very interesting, ultimately. There wasn't anything to sink, to sink your teeth into. Next up is arguably the most polished dancer on the show. Currently, it was Leighton Williams and Nikita. And they did the Samba. Fucking hell, what a fucking death. They came out. Leighton's wearing this amazing, like, pantsuit. It's like all the side bits are cut out. Like, all absolutely stunning. All, like, all oiled. It's off. Just everything they did was very fucking fluid. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll spout about that in a little bit, Piggy. What do you reckon about Leighton and Nikita's Samba? It was a fairly sexual dance. Like this felt like they were two lads. Like when we when we're done this dance, I'm bringing you back to my hotel and I'm fucking shagging you. It was <laughs> su it was such a sexy dance, man. It was so fluid. It was all like it, it was all intertwined, and I'm just like ah oh, ah oh, in the veins. But yeah, it was very sexual. So I love it. They say less is more, but late and proof that if you shoot your balls against the wall, you can nail anything. <laughs> it's, yeah, I don't even need to add any more to that. Yeah, essentially, I wrote... Obviously, Leighton has clearly done some dancing before. Clearly seems like a trained dancer. You know, like, the way the way he moved around the dance floor felt like he belonged there. I said it was very fluid and very sexy. The chemistry is palpable, and it was very fucking ambitious for a first dance. Um, and just there... Uh... Just to add on about you know what I'm saying. I'm not like your first week like we're having about this. So imagine you're in school and your teacher hands you an essay for the first week. You're not gonna put much effort in because what'd be the point? Yeah, you you're not exactly gonna be like, oh, give an essay on your dreams and then it's like a fucking nihilistic fucking take on how why dreams aren't actually important because nothing actually matters and they go You're just supposed to say my name's fucking Steve. <laughs> uh, now, yeah. now I'm crying because you put too much effort in. <laughs> yeah, they basically they went, they went. <laughs> you know what? Fuck this. We're gonna go <laughs> balls to the wall because, like, again, it's basically like me when I was in LCA English because everyone be like, uh, uh, "Off my cement was good because uh, you know this happened and then this happened." <laughs> this guy said the N word. You know, like, Here is why George from Off My Cement is actually a racist. Top five reasons, and I'd go like, I'd list everything, yeah. and then like, the teacher would be like, holy shit, we've even got an award for it. 
50. They're decent, okay. decent airplay. Probably slightly not dodge gone. yourself there if someone's particularly keen, but... Ah, fuck it. <laughs> I do the next one. You'll manage. I'm just setting up the thing yeah. so you can go on. Um, But yeah, it was... Uh, I basically went... For a first dance, it was really fucking good. And it shows the, the amount of potential that Leighton and Nikita have as a partnership. Like, you know, it was just really, really strong. So, I do you want me to give my score first? Do you want me to go first? You go um, first. So, again, um, you know I'm going to be very jealous. Because if I see a gay man, oh, well, he might not be gay, but very implied, you know. Um, <laughs> You know, I'm not saying like the outfits give it away that you're very open and proud. But if 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 my nan was looking at this telly and she was like, "Who is the gay one out of this?" <laughs> I bet it's that Leighton fella. Like you're obviously gonna go, "Yes, Grant." Like no, like I, I don't mean that rudely, but he is a very open man. So giving that, you know, I'm a bit more happy to to give scores to one because like I'm like. This guy clearly wants to put full effort in. He wants to show everyone that he's here, he's proud, and he's here to say fuck you to the norms. Yeah, and yeah, you probably I mean, hear that a lot, um, but that is basically how I view it because this man is breaking boundaries on a pre watershed show. And people will go, it's just dancing. It is just dancing, but this guy's showing that men can wear tight, skimpy clothes and not be viewed as he's gay, he's a. Yes. I didn't say the word. I didn't say the word. <laughs> I muted the first half of yeah. it. Um, no, it was it was really good, and yeah, I just didn't didn't really necessarily want to like completely like tackle that in together. But ultimately, doing something like this takes so much courage to put so much of yourself into something that you know a lot of people probably won't fucking like. A lot of people will be like, ah, <laughs> oh, why why are two men fucking dancing? And it's like, lads, it's just... dancing's one of the gayest things out there. It's fantastic. It's about fucking telling a story about, in like, using yours and their bodies together. Like, it's the most intimate, sexy thing ever. But people are like, um... oh, two men can't fucking dance together, eh? It's like, who the fuck cares? It's dance. There's no boundaries in dance. There are roles. Of course there's roles. But let's fucking break them, because... That's two sexy men doing some incredibly fucking fluid and, like, really just, like, s almost sensual dancing. It was absolutely fucking lovely. Like, um, like obviously, um, me and Ash always joke about it, but the, uh, the fucking pronouns guy, I really want a British version of that, but it's just some cockney guy. Fucking gay men on my Strictly. <laughs> Culture's gone wild. I'm just oh, trying to watch Strictly by myself like I've watched Flash 20 years. Why the fuck are there two men dancing together? Stop making everything political. <laughs> then, oh, then you basically look at that guy and go, wait, hold on here. Didn't you just make it political because you said two men can't dance together? So you're making it political and then blaming us for making it political when you clearly made it political. Because <laughs> all we stated was the fact that there were two men dancing and that one of them might be openly gay and the other one's just I, like, it's just so... fuck it, I'm with him. Yeah, yeah, Leighton's openly gay. I just, nothing, nothing's really known about Nikita. Like, but also don't ship them together, please. They're, they're two professionals doing a job. Don't start um... going like... <sighs> <laughs> you know, just, just enjoy it for what it is. Don't get too into it. But also don't decide that it's a waste of time because it's two men dancing because that was genuinely fantastic. I um, gave it a... Just, uh, sorry, can, can I just add on for a second? Again, I don't care if you shift fictional characters like you shift Gwen Stacy with Miles Morales. A bit weird because they're both minors, but I don't care if you do that. I don't care if you shift Ben and Callum because they're just two characters. But if you ship Tony Clay and whoever plays Ben Mitchell in real life, then that's a bit weird. Same with doing this. Same if you ship us two together. <laughs> Very weird. Ash doesn't want it. I don't want it. They probably don't want it. So, like, again, please don't ship real life people. <laughs> you know how when sex tapes leak, it somehow launches careers? Yeah. That one just, nah, that's done. Oh, 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 oh lads, a sex tape leaked. Oh, I'm not fucking watching that. Fuck off. Get that shit out of here. Gordon! 
the coordination Piggy has when he's arched over and arched <laughs> pumping him. Zero out of ten, like, not enough pumping, a lot of humping. <laughs> Yeah, like you know, some some sex tapes fucking launch careers. That one just that that one's like a bar, like like a bar, like a bear farting in the woods. Just eh, didn't happen. <laughs> it, it, it is literally the. It, it would be like the fucking. Do you know like how it launches careers? We would be at the bottom tier. This would cancel careers. Yeah. People people would be like, I seen your penis. It was all right. You know, it wasn't it was average at best. To, but to like mid penis at, my, at best, at best, yes. <laughs> at best, you know, that's just long though. It's you know very hairy, you know, you know very long and hairy. But uh, you know, guys, you could have kept it in the pants. You, you know, you, you're making everything walk. <laughs> like, and we're like, oh, sorry. But yeah, go ahead. Um, I gave it a nine out of ten. Um, for a first dance and the expectations that they've set for themselves after doing that, like it's hard to believe that they'll. You know, some weeks may be a bit worse, but ultimately, if that's your first fucking dance, that's absolutely sensational. Um, it got a 29 for the ju from the judges, and I just said first tens of the season. I guarantee it's probably going to them. Wrote it at the time, not sure if I fully agree with it now, considering how stiff the competition is. But what did you give it, Piggy? What did you give Leighton and Nikita? Tech 10, but... Here's my reason. I gave it a 10 out of 10 because, honestly, this was like watching two professional dancers dance. Not saying the others aren't professional dancers, they probably are, but this felt like this was genuinely two mates. So it'd be like me and Ash going on Strictly. It just felt like two mates putting their hearts out. Except for us, it would be two mates trying to do a dance, but we both fail. And we both hysterically laugh backstage as we get shouted at. But, like, um, I did love it. Like, I loved it 10 out of 10. Like, give them all the medals, awards, shit like that. I don't care. Um, but they also get an extra point for the outfit because the outfit was clearly like, guys. It's a, it's a bit. It's it's a bit provocative, really, isn't it? That's a sexy a of, man right there. We feel a bit of skin. But there we are. Um, rapidly heading towards the next dance, which was uh, Zara McDermott with big motherfucking sex graziano my favorite dancer just look at him just look at him oh he's so gorgeous. is that the guy you said he he looks like angel garza yeah he's so fucking gorgeous and speaking of the cha-cha they're doing the cha-cha as well of course yeah i got upset <laughs> <laughs> I got him. um it was a very it's a very strange dance it was uh I don't know, I've, I've got a lot of gripes with this one, but do you want to go into yours first? Uh, Zara and Grattan uh, did a cha-cha, and I clearly have slide written here, so sorry. <laughs> Immediately docking points for on, on originality, because, like, you could have done anything else. Um, but they got some hips and legs, and they ended laying down, but I don't mind it. So originally a 7, but it gets a 6 out of 10. Being more original, maybe bust out a good old Charlie Brown. Oh, what, 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 go on, what's Charlie Brown? Go on. Hit the Charlie I can't Brown. do it because I can't stand up. Ah, well. That, sound, that sounds like... You can do it. You can I, do I it. I don't know what it is. That's why I asked. You basically jump up and down with your feet. You can jump up back and forth. Well. Get, that'll have to wait. Yeah, my take on this one. Um, I thought they both looked very elegant. They both looked very good. They both looked good together. There was a lot of chemistry. The eye contact was a big deal. I think it was a good job. And I think that Zara was quite good. She's She's got a very long, kind of lean body, right? You know, but she also is very... Hmm? Andrew Garfield's body, very lanky. Um, she, She's very good at, like, pointing her, pointing her toes, pointing her arms, like, having good, like, form. Um, I thought she was a little bit slow. I thought she was a little bit wooden. Uh, like, uh, if she just, basically, she was very good at, like, like extending all, all the arms and the legs and all the, like, stuff. She was in time. She had good rhythm. She was, like, she was dancing well. But if it just gets, like, 0.25 a bit more faster, it'll be, like, a lot more of a complete thing. Um, the lifts and the moves were great, but it felt like Graziana was working with a fucking broom. Um, and 
I compared it to like trying to get blood from a stone. Just fucking, come on, come on, you're gonna fucking bleed now, and it's like there's there's no pulse here. It's just it's not. It's just. I don't know, like, it was good. There were a lot of very good signs, but fundamentally, just speed that shit up a little bit more. It felt like she was a fuck... It felt like she was, like, a... Uh... felt like she was, like, a pacifist in a row. Not pacifist. She was just so passive. It's like the dance came to her. She wasn't actually leading anything. There we are. That's my thoughts. Don't know why this dance riled me up, but I was just like, it's it's so nearly good. Yeah, your thoughts? Yeah, I already gave my thoughts, but yeah, oh. um, it, no. it was all right. Again, I gave it a 6 out of 10. Um, but again, uh, dances will repeat, sadly. But like, how come no one has busted out the Toby Maguire, you know, the, that kind of dance? As why has no one, one done that? the one thing Piggy knows. Yeah, the um, Toby and the Charlie, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I gave it... I, I initially gave it a 6. I'm just going to give it a 5. It was just pretty underwhelming. Like, there was a lot of cool stuff, but not enough, like... There wasn't enough energy in it. It was far no, too I... stripped back. So, yeah. It got a 19 from the judges. Yeah, it was fairly, like, meh. It was... Like you said, I think she'll be very good. But for the amount of praise that, like, she got from the judges and to then to only get 19 fucking points. Like, that was just a bit of a disconnect somewhere. Uh, next up is the worst. The fucking terrible. The absolute hot garbage. That was Piggy's boy. Piggy's dark horse. The one Piggy picked who thinks are secretly gonna be quite good. Les, Dennis, and Nancy dance the tango to, like, the Don't You Want Me by... Uh, fuck, I forgot what their name's called, but, you know. Uh, just Boy George and that lot, whatever the fuck they're called. Um, I've got a great reference. Human Nature. Comparison. Yeah, sure, go well, on. Uh, so, there's two matches I have. I'll go with the first one first. So you obviously remember Saudi Arabia. They, they originally just wanted all these legends. They wanted Yoko. I'm not making this up. The Saudi friends wanted Yoko. All, you know? all of the wrestling legends, you know. Yeah, Can from we get the Hulk 80s. Hogan. He's like 60 years old and his hip doesn't work. Uh, Yoko Suna, he's dead. <laughs> Bam Bam Bigelow, he's also dead. Uh, yeah, they wanted basically every wrestler from the 80s, maybe 70s and 90s. So basically one of the matches I went first and then I'll go for the shitter match. As it was DX, so Sean and Triple H, not Road Dog or Billy or X Pac or China. She's also dead. And um, it was Triple H and Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker and Kane. It was that level of bad where you're like, no, no, no. But the other one, and I people will disagree with me. It is it is absolutely one of the worst rap matches I've ever watched. It is Goldberg versus Undertaker in Saudi Arabia. Where Goldberg spikes Undertaker and Undertaker spikes Goldberg. It was literally well, because if people, want... people who don't know, spiking is pretty much being dropped on your head. Dropped on your head. Uh, basically, um, why is it the worst match? It was literally two 50 year olds who weren't in their prime going at it. it was, that was basically Les Dennis. He thought he was in his it's, prime. They went for their best hits, but they can't. They they can't do the best hits anymore, and it's no. like oh. No, no, yeah, it was exactly like that. Like um. Now, Blaze Dennis was literally the fucking Goldberg in this match. Like, he was, he was kind of lost. He the was, best thing yeah, he no. did, the funniest bit he did, is, you know, he, he did the shaker, did some little two-step, and then she, like, did some big motion, and then you just see him be like... And then he does another little fucking two-step, and it's like, okay, all right, fair play, that was funny. <laughs> but what, fucking it was... Christ, the rest of it was absolute cheeks how <laughs> how would you get on the show doing that it was fucking awful <laughs> if you I... take angela rippons and les dennis's age and you fucking flip them you go yeah that makes fucking sense because good lord it was terrible um... and the worst bit is the fucking judges are like yeah fucking good job there les it's like don't you fucking do that don't you fucking praise him for this shit. He's garbage. He's absolute garbage. But he just smiles whilst doing it. 
So you can't go, fuck you, Les. You're fucking shit. You have to go. Yeah, great job, Les. Great character work there. Absolute tremendous character. It's like, oh, just fucking come on. Um, like, obviously, I don't like hating on people, but, like, <laughs> oh, they assume they have to do an audition to get in, don't they? Uh, I assume there has to be some, like... Audition. You can't... Like, we can't just show up well, and check. Well, like, it's just pe people get signed up, right? And it's just, will you be able to do this? And it's, yeah, I assume but, there's some physicals or whatever. But, like, to me, like, like did the, the fucking Les Dennis get the biggest guy he know on the back? And they're like, can you can you pretend to be me? Just wear a mask. And, and they're just <laughs> Les, you're, Les, you're brilliant. And then Les walks in, he's like five foot six. And they're like, but you were... Huh, you're... Uh, he was literally like that. Like someone must have auditioned for him because, like, if I was, if I no offense, Les, I don't care if you're watching this. You're probably not watching this. You're probably a hob sitting back on your lovely couch. I mean, but, he, like, he will wipe his tears with his buckets of money. Yeah, like he, like, um, I, like I don't mean to shit on anyone, but Jesus Christ, Les, literally, there was more footwork in me going for a shit than there was in this match. <laughs> Like Jesus, he he literally he literally couldn't like he he was literally like when an old wrestler has to be carried by a young wrestler, he, but they can't carry him because he's too far gone. It's like his his feet. It's like his feet were stuck to the floor, like trying to lift it. It's like fucking like me trying to do trying to do a push up, just like ah uh, ah uh, body hell. Oh god, like honestly again next week ah. Uh, Basically, I said Nancy should really adopt the same technique that Kai does with Angela. Just don't make him do much at all, but make that be the best part. Don't make him two-step. Don't make him, like, guide. Don't make him do his form. Move around him. Don't move with him. I gave it a one. It was fucking cheeks. Like, I don't like shitting on people, but Jesus. Like, like I don't even know how he got in. It's like when, um, it's like when, you know, like when you go for an interview and your best friend's like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll pretend to be like your previous work boss. And like you're implying for e t IT. And like, yeah, 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 I'm good with computers. Yeah, yeah, I know everything about computers. Yeah, 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 fucking hire me. And then you get in and you're like, uh, John, I don't know anything about computers. I just did this as a job. Well, well John, the only thing I know is how to look up porn. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Billy. I don't know. I don't know why they're, they're American. But yeah, I I yeah. suppose I will say credits to him because that shit's difficult. He's 68. Yeah, credits to him. Like, that's a hard work. It's hard. A lot of these dancers are overperforming and what they're doing. Some of them are fucking like 50 years, not 60 years. Some of them are like 50 years younger. Like, credits to Les Dennis. But he's not a good dancer. And I'm not going to yeah. give him his flowers. Because those flowers smell like shit. Just... Yeah. Les, that's like how I, we feel. Because I thought, like, Les would be carried. I, I, Again, I, you're probably him using wrestling films, but that's how I describe it. I thought he'd be carried. Like, the woman would go, look, Les, here's your weaknesses, here's your strengths. Will you just do these dances and then I'll lead and you follow? And not, I mean... not go, Les, you lead, I follow. Because I'm not saying it'd be like a farmer being like to me, can you herd these cows into the field? Are you not going to know how to herd a cow <laughs> into a field? Like, that's to basically fair, sending... I, like one a... thing that is my favourite, like, the favourite way that a woman worked around this person thing is, I don't remember which series Strictly it was, but there was a, there's this big, fat Tory. I think he's a Tory. He's a member of Parliament, you know, he's a politician, and he's called John Sargent. And all this woman went is just drag me around on the fucking floor. And because it was so shit, but so funny. Because he's just fucking dragging her around like a really stern. Just on the fucking floor. Just sweeping. Sweeping the dance floor with his, with his dance partner. But like, he genuinely, he had to quit the show. Because everybody just went, he's not leaving. <laughs> We're fucking keeping him here. Can we keep him? He's so shit. So he genuinely, um, he had to quit the show because he was so bad people kept him in. <laughs> fair enough. But like, again, it, it like another example would literally be like Ash sending me to his workplace, well, his former <laughs> workplace, and be like, you can do my job. And I'll be like, 
at and uh, what what do you want me to do <laughs> but yeah like les i love you les you were great in the 80s like if you were if you were in your 20s like you were in the 80s to fuck it love to see you then but maybe it's time you pack in the shoes and you're like maybe it's time i hang up the boots and you know go back to hosting family fortunes or whatever we hosted um yeah, but yeah got, a, got a 16 from the judges what did you um, give him Gave him minus five stars out of ten. <laughs> minus five, five stars. stars. But there we are, from the good to the bad. That was the ugly. Now we're going back around. Next up, we had Ellie Leach, Coronation Street actress, played Faye Windass in the show, and Vito dancing the jive. Now, man alive, whoever did the like, whoever did the like time slots of this thing, absolutely destroyed Les Dennis. Because you get the most slow, plodding, fucking, just shit. And then you get Ellie Leach and they're all like wearing orange and fucking like fire. And it's such a fast dance. They fucking came out swinging. They looked at the camera for one second, did a slow walk and suddenly they're like fucking running. They're kicking the fucking legs. She had hips. She had good footwork. The teamwork was there. It was a great partnership. She looked as if she'd danced before. She was that genuinely good. Um, the energy was really high, and it was a pretty ambitious dance for a first weeker, just like Leighton. Um, it was top tier stuff, and I simply said she was a much better dancer than the Coronation Street star, because fuck me, was that character garbage. But good dancer, though. Fucking kudos for that. Absolute fantastic shit here. Not on the show, though. <laughs> what do you reckon? Um... I completely have Christ's name because I have the, the I, I have him down as Ellie and Peter or Jive. I realise Jive is the dance. Jive is and the not dance. His, and Jive is not his name. I like to imagine him going in, hello, my name's Peter Jive. <laughs> What's all of the dance terms for names? Um, Love the dance. They were pretty good. We're not late and good, but a solid. You know, they were, you know. It's like when you get a kebab from a new shop and you try it, but you realise it's not as good as the one you always get from. You know, it's just as good, but not as better. Yeah. I I would say it was it was on the same level of, as the late and stuff. Personally, I say that I did give it an eight though, um, but it's more so she is one of the people to watch in this competition as well. Um, she's shown that there's genuine like talent there. Um, so it was, yeah, I gave it an 8. The judges gave it 29. Uh, multiple people got 29s this week. Uh, that kind of shows how generally strong it was. So, what did you give um, it? I gave it a solid 6 out of 10. Um, room for improvement. Not saying I could do better. I definitely couldn't. I'm too fat to do it. Like, I'd be fucking... Like, I'd be like squeaky, for that squeaky toy from Toy Story 2. <laughs> Um, levels of like, oh Jesus, but I am, um, yeah, I'll definitely be better than Les Dennis, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was a solid six out of ten, uh, room for improvement, but they will improve, like, it is a great crack. Like, do love, do love when dancers are confident in themselves and are not like Les Dennis, or yeah, confident like, myself. I can go in my prime, and like, Les, you're 68, calm down, mate. Like, you cannot jump that top rope, so you cannot. Some of these people are just like like celebrities having to like do a dance for, on a show, and some people are like, "This is my fucking show," and you know, you could tell that there was a much higher degree of quality in some of these dancers than the others. Some are some are very low, very mid. Some are like some are decent, and some were pretty exceptional for the lack of experience that they have. Um. Next up was Jody Cundy and Javita doing the quick step. Um, this one was quite underwhelming, really. Not much happened. Uh, Jody is the Paralympian cycler, so no, they, he only has like he, like he has one leg and he has one on like prosthetic leg. Which to do a quick step, which involves a lot of fucking jumping, a lot of like sudden foot movements. That shit's pretty fucking hard, I would imagine. Imagine it's quite fucking difficult to do it if you only, you know, you, you you can obviously move the other leg, but it's not your leg, so you're having to make it do a lot of the hard work for you. Um, I said it was quite a strong quick step. He was strong and composed, and everything looked very like well calculated. 
I think he has a good dance presence, but I feel like it lacked a lot of the star power that a lot of these other dances have shown, like a Leighton, like an Ellie. Like, nothing really about this dance, like, stood out. It was just fairly standard. Um, what did you reckon? Uh, I didn't know this was the, the guy with the one leg. Um, uh, very nice person, I, I assume. And, um, although I missed a bit, I was looking for some action figure hands. Um, obviously, things like this. So bring it up to the camera so you can see. And um, I'm basically selling things on the side while recording. Because um, someone just gave me a quick message. Do you, you, you know the parts for this? I'm like, okay, you can have the figure. But yeah, so I just I, I I missed I missed the dance and most of the dance, um as I got agitated because I go fuck, where the fuck is the hand where the fuck is it because I could not find it, um so I'm giving them an extra point so it was originally a six out of ten but since I missed most of it I'm giving them a seven. That's that's unreasonable. I gave it a five. Got twenty one from the judges. Very standard. Very mid. Nothing fancy there. Um. But credits to the person doing it. I'm sure it's quite difficult to dance with one like with one leg and a prosthetic leg. That's like, come on, like and to see how well they did. Fair play. I think, I think they I think they'll be like a surprisingly good dancer by the end. Um, like I just think there's a lot. There's some. There's like a some people are like loud and out there. He's just got that like quiet confidence, just like I'm. I'm good. I'm good at this, and I like it. I like it. He's the quiet guy who always wins in the races when like you're doing running. Yeah, or like, cycling, he's, he's, like his fucking or job. And <laughs> um, like, uh, yeah, like I loved. Like I, uh, kudos to him. Hopefully, he doesn't get eliminated before Les Dennis. Because if he does, I will go on a massive rant. Because if he somehow gets eliminated before <laughs> fucking Mr. Wooden Wooden Leg, then I'm going to complain. I mean, he's not fucking pirate. No, no, I meant Wooden Leg is Lend Les oh, Dennis. Because, right, like... <laughs> oh. like, I don't mean this wholeheartedly, and if people take offense, I'm sorry. Well, literally, Les Dennis looked like the guy who had one prosthetic leg, not this guy. This guy looked like he had two working legs. I understand the prosthetic leg still works, but like fucking hell, this guy like could move better than Les Dennis. I mean, he, <laughs> like, he, he is an Olympian. I know he is, but like fuck me, like, he, like clearly you, clearly you fucking, you must have given Les something. Like, <laughs> give him whatever you're on. Uh, but yeah, next up we have Bobby Brazier, obviously Freddie Slater, our boy, and Diane Buswell, and they're dancing the Foxtrot. Not really sure what this dance was, but it was very strong. One thing that I didn't realize how like how physically imposing Bobby looks. Like he's a very tall but lean man, but on that fucking dance floor, he looks about seven foot ten because he's like so long and just leans out perfectly. Got a really good posture. Got a really good like frame to work from. Um. Like, I didn't realize... I thought he was fucking... I thought he was, like, a, li a little tiny boy. He's fucking huge. He looks huge on that dance floor. Um, I said the footwork was good. The dance was good. Um, for someone who's used to being a very comedic character, he did carry the tone of a bit more serious particularly well. I do want to see him do something a bit more full of energy, though. But that just doesn't really degrade from the dance. Um, this flowed very well. It, it looked very natural. It looked, it genuinely looked, you know, like he deserved to be there. And he's clearly worked hard. So, what did you reckon? Um, Bobby and Diana, is it Diane? Yes. Diana. Yes. Yeah. Um, they were in uh, Dinosaur Sandwiches, of course. Just wanted to put that out there. Um, uh, I mentioned this to Ash, but I'm going to mention it on air. Full arse was out. Don't care. In that fucking, like, thankfully you can see the crotch. But oh, fucking hell, his Bob Ussie was out, like. You could see his ass cheeks in his fucking hands, like, full of you. Like, literally, like, his full Bob Ussie was out. Uh, Love the dance. So he gets 8 out of 10, mostly because that bussy was showing. And that bussy looked happy. <laughs> and I put some lovely hard eyes. <laughs> Sound. I also I gave it an 8 out of 10 as well. It got 29 from the judges. Once again, very strong score. 
it was just a very it was very well pieced together dance the chemistry was clearly there it was just a very good job honestly um, can i can i uh, can i just add bobby please next time wear some more loose pants i don't want to see because i'll just get distracted with seeing your ass like because you have a very very uh i don't want to say tight but a very squeezable ass <laughs> I can't believe it had to be clipped and it gets sent to him. <laughs> 20 years old. You've got old. what? <laughs> hey, it's fine. I'm 19. It's fine. Oh. It's not like if it was a woman, we'd get all upset, but it's a man, so it's fine. <laughs> Apparently, according to cancel culture. It's fine um, if it's a man, but if it's a woman, fuck you. Next up, we have Anna Annabelle Croft. Uh, I believe she is the tenor, the ex-tennis player and now pundit. Um, they they did another fucking cha cha to Uptown Girl. Um, I thought it was quite a nice and elegant dance. It was very contained. There wasn't anything outlandish really. It started off a bit slow. It was a bit flat footed, and it feels like the timing was a bit dodgy there. Um, but like through the dance, she definitely she warmed up a bit more. She got a bit more confident. And it's just simply, once she gets a bit more confident, she will, like, just be ten times better. Because a lot of the fundamentals are there. It's just whether you can actually show them all off in, like, a in the way you want to. Rather than, you know, being in your head or, like, thinking, like, oh, shit, I've got to hit this timing. Once there's a couple more reps in, she'll be quite talented, I believe. Your thoughts, mate? Sorry, I got distracted. I'm sorry, I still was listening, but yeah. So who are we on again? We're on... Uh, Amanda and... Oh, no, no. Josine and Annabelle, right? Johannes, yeah. Johannes. Uh, I got a, a fourth one. A fourth cha-cha-cha. Jesus Christ. What could that? Solid 6 out of 10. <laughs> stop, stop with the cha-chas. Yeah, it got, a, it, it got a 7 from me. It was just... I liked how, like, elegant it was. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's always fun to see how they try to present these dancers, you know. Like, obviously, when Adam did his dance, he's very, like, fucking bold and, like, exciting and excitable. And, like, this energy, like, kind of leaks out onto the screen. But, you know, some of these dancers were just going for a very nice reserve, very, like, take me, on, take, take me out on, on a date first. I'm fucking elegant. I'm glowing. But yeah, see, in a bit of time, um, she will get a bit more confident. See, this is where me and you differ. You know, you go first, take me on a date, love. You know, treat me well. You know, buy me dinner. Me, fucking take me first, and then I'll buy you the dinner. <laughs> yeah. The difference between a man. This show is post watershed. Lovely to yeah. hear it. Um. <laughs> a whole lot of shows are post watershed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. But we have three more to go, so let's keep it kicking. We've been at this for nearly an hour ten at this point. I really want the shows to be a little less long, please. Because by about dance ten, you're just like, oh, fucking hell, are we doing more of this? <laughs> um, you know what it was like for me? Do you know like before WrestleMania went two nights? And it was like WrestleMania 35, <laughs> where it was like, it was like six hours long. And, you were, and like the, the one thing I remember from WrestleMania 35, I don't remember much, but the one thing I remember is like, oh, this is going to be a good show. And I watched it with some people and then like I got the Batista Triple H was like, holy shit, how long is this? Man? <laughs> how long? I mean, like Kurt Angle, Baron Corbin happened. I was like, fucking hell, this <laughs> match does not need to be on the card. Yes, please. just please just I'm, I'm glad that each week it's going to get a bit more trimmed down. Don't keep us here for like two hours twenty. Like, make it like a solid packed one hour forty five, maybe two, but not fucking like two hour twenty, please. Yeah. But, yeah. Next up, we do have Amanda and Giovanni. They did a Viennese waltz. Um, this one was quite a surprise. I wasn't expecting it to be at the like level that it was. Um, it was it was quite strong. Uh, there was a lot of very fluid motion through this, but it did feel like she was very much relying on Giovanni to kind of, like, take the wheel. Like, please, please help me through this, I'm struggling. Um, but, like, her spins and the turns were, were very elegant, the footwork was strong, and the story was quite nice. 
didn't really pay attention to much of the like kind of story context of all these dances really it was wanky as it sounds but we're fucking critiquing that, that fucking dancing show come on but i think it was a very impressive first dance um their chemistry was strong and the dance was very few very fluid gave it a nine um because it was just it was uh Whilst it was happening, you're just kind of like, oh, fuck. Whoa. You fucking look at this. They're fucking doing it. They're all dancing. They're all doing like a really good job. Like, they was pretty good. They got a 29 from the judges. And what did they get from you, Pete? Well, they were good. But again, had more hole trouble. And my Bob Ossie was not showing. But uh, it was the fact that like, my laptop is a very frail piece of shit. And like I was having trouble as I'm plugging the charger, like I was literally grabbing at the screen. Fuck up, oh, please! I have strictly to watch. So I, I, as much as I tried to watch it, I was literally, I was literally like your dad, your dad when, yeah, when, when he has to build a crib for the new baby. Like fuck it, why won't this go here? Like, Dave, Dave, it doesn't go here. Like, fucking sure. <laughs> like I was, I was basically Dave in that situation. So. I, I'm sorry, I know people will go, but you should watch the show. You must know that my brain is like ADHD. Like, I, I need to be fixated on something else as well. Or else I'll just be like, Ash, I'm bored. We've literally just seen two dances, Piggy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll <laughs> but, um, Yeah, well, what, did, uh, what did you give it? What did you give it? So I gave it a 5 out of 10. You know, from what I've seen, it was bored. Not the greatest thing I've ever seen. but like, Hampered by the laptop charger. Yeah, <laughs> the laptop. It's, it's not laptop. you, it's me. Sorry. <laughs> the, the laptop charge was like, I'm not putting you over, brother. I'm not putting you over. Buried. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, mate, oh, look at how, look how fucking red my cheeks are getting. Just, Jesus. It's all about fucking sh talking about Strictly. I didn't think I. I didn't expect that he'd spend two hours 20 watching Strictly and then a, at least an hour and a bit fucking critiquing it, but it's good fun. Um, next up, we have Krishnan, Guru Murphy, and Lauren. They're doing another cha-cha. This one was a lot of fun, though. Krishnan really did a good job at... He wasn't necessarily very good, but he fucking had the time of his life there. He's like, he's doing a jig. He's doing a bit of this at the fucking judges. Like, he's wearing this, like, this fucking ridiculous orange suit with a hat on top. Like, oh my god, he looks so happy to be here. It's so fucking fun. Um, how I'm the negative one in this one. <laughs> Go on then. I went Chris, Christian, and Lauren. Another goddamn cha 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 cha. I know you said start again. Kill <laughs> me, please. Kill me, or I'll kill myself. Stop with the cha cha cha. He gets a two out of ten, mainly because of the dance moves and the fact because he has fat dances. Les Dennis can dance better than this guy. Piggy was just upset about the cha cha. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he was just upset about the fourth, the fifth cha cha of the night. Uh, <laughs> like, I, no, no, I have no problem. I, look, I, look. All I want to say is I have no problem with people doing a cha cha. But again, it's again for me. It's like when we when me and Ash are watching wrestling, and then like the young bucks come out, they do a super kick, and then Ash's like, oh yeah, the match is over. No, that super kick, and then it's like. God damn it! Another super kick. Like the problem I have is there was too many charges on this show. If they could just pull back the charges, I would be fine. It's so maybe, hard to keep it interesting doing the same shit, you know. Because um, maybe maybe you should tell people, look, these are what the dance, these dancers are doing this, these dancers are doing that. So you don't have an over. Well, I think I think it's just a known thing because obviously it's the first week and they only have like six days to actually work on this. So yeah, ultimately, I would... they gotta like, they have to they have to have some very like some easier dances per se for some of the dancers who aren't necessarily as capable, right? Yeah, I know, but like again, it was just the fact there was too many charges on this. I mean, there's, like, been, there's just too many fucking dancers, aren't there? <laughs> like, yeah, there's just I too feel... many dancers here. Like, it's hard I to give like... a shit about all of them. Yeah, exactly. Like. If they, like, what I would do for, and ask my god, but that's more work, Piggy, why? Why? <laughs> I would be for, if it was Saturday and Sunday, so you have Saturday, you do the first five or six, how, how many you want to do, seven, right. and the se seven, and then on the other half, you do the others, 
Uh, the other seven or eight? Eight. The other eight, and basically then it's separate. And you're not sitting there for two and a half hours like, okay, guys, guys, come on, come on, come on. Jesus Christ, come on, come on. J- j- fuck's sake. Yeah, like, yeah, no, like, fair this enough. This literally... This literally should be split into two shows. I know that would be more work for us, but we could probably then... What we could do is we could just do what we're doing now and just collide them together. Like, yeah. I would much rather two shows than just one long show because like, there comes a point where you're like, guys, think about the viewers. But, like, bro, like I'm probably the naggy one here. Probably Margaret, who's, like, alien and loves toffee, probably loved this shit. She was like, give me more, give me more, give me more. But, I like, like, Jesus, just... Again, I mean, it's, just, that... just that it's our first proper seasons, right? So yeah. There's obviously like, there's going to be some teething issues. Maybe by the end, we're like, it's actually too short. They don't dance enough. Stash gripping, lads. Um, in terms of bad things to say about Krishnan, obviously he was pretty flat-footed. Um, Lauren was just... Lauren was dancing around him like about at about three times the speed. It was very mid, but it was very lovable. Um, and that's what I'm here for. It felt very wholesome. He got a five from me, and what he lacked in technical ability, he made up in enthusiasm. I did love his, like, fucking... Yeah. <laughs> He's feeling himself. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Uh, on, he, on a TV show, pre watershed feeling himself. He got a 22 from the judges. So, once again, very mid. Anything else before we go on to the final dance? So the final dance was Nigel Harmon, obviously Dennis Rickman Jr. Not Dennis Rickman, Dennis G- Dennis Rickman on EastEnders, Dan Watts' his kid, and Katya. And they're doing the the Passa the Passa Double. The Passa Passa Double. Doublé. Nah, nah. The Passa Doublé. Nah, it's Doublé, I believe. Okay. Um You're This man. one was a fucking lot, man. Obviously, the first person, the first person to like end the show on Strictly, it's an honor. It's an honor to finish the show, the last dance, the last like the last scenes you see of the show for the week. That's a big fucking deal, all right. Some people would fumble it, some people would struggle. Nigel Harmon didn't fucking struggle at all. This dance was fast paced. It was strong. There was a lot going on. There was a lot of imagery. It was a very like fierce, like serious dance. But no, he put his whole ass into it. Good old fucking Nige. Mm-hmm. It was intense. Nice bossy. It was fiery. He moved with purpose. And like I said, the immense pressure to close str- the first like week of Strictly of the series. Like he absolutely nailed it. It was a really competent. It was really direct. There was a lot going on. It wasn't like okay, uh, do a two step here, do a two step there. It was like we're fucking gunning for this. And. Uh, it, it was it's very hard to it's very hard to take all of the build up all right you're you're closing out strictly for the first week's your first dance you're closing um and to turn that into such a powerful strong and like very like fierce dance like i was pretty good i gave it a 10 which is pretty big because nobody else got a fucking 10 there were a lot of candidates to get a 10 but it was just everything went very well. Nothing felt off. It all felt very fluid and like should feel absolutely pleased with how he did because it was fantastic. What do you reckon of the Passa Double? Uh, give me a second. Oh, um, again, my problem is, and it's not with this song's Smells Like Teen Spirit, but it's the fact it's overplayed. It's, uh... it's, it's overplayed. And uh, that's my problem because, like, <laughs> what, did you, what that... did you think about the dance, Piggy? What about the dance? Did you pay attention second, to I... any of the dance? I did pay attention to the dance. I love the dance, but my problem is, I it's just I used to be a Nirvana fan, all right. So like this, just yeah, you, this. You, you and everybody else over there. You saying all Irish people love Nirvana? I'm saying everybody loves Nirvana. Sm- loves teen. Smells like Teen Spirit. Hey, I loved I loved most of Nirvana's albums, and then I grew up. Not even that good. I less edgy. <laughs> Not even that, that fucking good. good. But like, um, it's just the fact that the song's overplayed. Where I'm like, God damn it! 
It's basically like when you hear uh, Mr. Brightside it's all, or Wonderwall. It's just yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah, you hear hell. Mr. Brightside, you're at the party, you're like four cans deep and you're like... <sighs> that was out of my cage and I've been doing just fucking... So, well, I gotta do it, but I can't not, but fuck. Fuck's sake, I never want to hear either of those songs again. Nor Smells Like Teen Spirit. And I don't want to hear Piggy complain about Smells Like Teen Spirit again. Because, oh it's boy. Like, this this beautiful, fucking incredible dance. They ruined it, Teen Spirit! Ah! It's like, it's not that bad, you motherfucker. It's not that bad, please. <laughs> just, please, just, just appreciate the dance. Complain about the song later. I did love the dance, but again, it's just... Uh, did love the dance, but I have nothing to say about it. <laughs> uh, the great footwork, okay? Great footwork. I, my main complaint was just with this song, because, like, again, overplayed. I fucking... Whenever <laughs> it's not, I... It's not strictly full, it's overplayed. But, uh, I just picked... I could have picked Heart Shaped Box, okay? Could have picked that one. True. I probably wouldn't have fit the tone, right? But... Uh, yeah, because it is about Courtney Love's vagina, I think. Which, she killed him, so, like, very fitting. Um, but, yeah, love the dance. Love, love the, <laughs> the, the, the hype. The better fucking... Of fucking like the dance, motherfucker. I, 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 it was very good. Like, it was very good. I only deducted him two points because I'm like, could, could you could you please just pick a different Nirvana song that isn't comes like Teen Spirit? Um, it smells like Team Spirit, not comes like Team Spirit. <laughs> that's a, that's I hope a you don't know what that, what that comes like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. But like, uh, I gave him a solid 8 out of 10. Like, I, This made me want to see his acting on EastEnders. And hopefully, if he still continues the classic podcast, hopefully when we get to, when he's introduced, hopefully Ash will win me over and be like, Ash, Piggy, he is the shit. He is the absolute shit. Yeah, no, uh, it, was, it was really good um for a slightly older man like he's in his 50s right he's you know i was like he was dancing like no like no fucker else it's fantastic um it was definitely the shock of the night it was he could have either been really fucking good or just shit just like martin last year where he was absolute fucking garbage um but yeah um there we are all 15 of the strictly dances rated ranked talked about on episode number two of strictly speaking piggy if you had to choose a favorite dance of this week which one would you choose you obviously know i'm gonna go for the jockey one you know i'm gonna go for the jockey one so obviously les dennis will you step up please and take your award the only thing i loved about that les dennis dance is his like little he does this little two-step. She does something, and he goes, <laughs> fucking hits it again. I'm like, ah. Oh. But the rest of it is absolute cheeks. But if you if you want an honest answer, I'm gonna have to look at his name now. And uh, do, 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 do no, it's not Les Dennis. No, he shit. No. Layton and Akira. Uh, yeah, they were good. They were very um, good. Uh, loved them. Uh, want to see more of them. Hopefully they come back for more. Hopefully the internet doesn't howl them because they're they don't fit in. Like because we're pretty much in a grunge era again without the grunge. Yeah. Where people can't fit in. Like and I don't care what anyone says, it is pretty hard to fit in when you don't fit in. I come from that experience. Where everyone's it's like, like, He's a school shooter. It's like trying not. to get a, it's like trying to get a circle through a star shaped hole. <laughs> yeah. I, I think you don't have you don't have the points for that big man. He's <laughs> fucking <laughs> Like, I will bring it up every time I can, but and people will probably get sick of him. But I might just try and lessen the reference, but I will probably... If he's wearing a very skimpy outfit that will, that people would like on a woman, I will mention it. Because people will be like, Well, time to unzip. Uh, oh, oh, that's a man. <laughs> yeah, no, that one was very good. I'm very torn, though. There was a lot of really interesting ones this week. A lot of people surprised me. Uh, but I am just going to adhere to my lovely little bit of soap bias. Simply because the uh, Nigel Harmon dance was fantastic. The Ellie Leach dance was fantastic. Um, the one that surprised me most, though, it probably is Nigel. Um, 
he did really do the best job that he could have done considering it but uh yeah but hey, Ellie Leach is a, I, I went for i went for good old good old nigel Harmon. you know oh. the last dance the good old pass it pass a if, if pass I'm, a from, if I'm fucking up any of the names that's all just fine but obviously fred uh bobby brazier was good ellie leach was good uh leighton was good i enjoyed uh, no hold on it's not going to good old nige it's going to fucking angela rippon because she was fantastic the one nobody expected to do well but the person who carried themselves with so much fucking class that everybody just went holy fuck like usually the, the stars will stand out by themselves and she was just fucking just right there gleaming just a great stuff 78 years old fucking ridiculous um yeah they didn't actually say anything about the next uh uh episode episode so now we just have to wait another week till we get to see another uh episode of strictly come dancing excuse me oh and that is finally the episode of strictly speaking number two in the can we finally done it piggy how does it feel feels good feels good i feel i feel it's like that shit that never comes out you know <laughs> it finally comes out and you're like finally got there yeah i know i can go eat my spice bag afterwards and yeah with yeah. extra chicken um, um did you cold. like our take on strictly do you want to see this keep happening well just tell us in the comment section down below we are obviously locked in till the end now because you know we we like we want to cause a we want to set a precedent of if we started something we'll probably finish it maybe some bumps in the road you know some bit to maneuver over but we, we'll just fucking swerve lads the person in the way ah oh, bloody hell oh, get out of the way it's time for strictly motherfucker oh. um <laughs> We'll try our best. Um, it's fun to add a bit of, a bit of, like dumb banter again. It's fun to be over overtly critical, yet still quite reasonable with praise. And yeah, I couldn't imagine doing this with anybody else. But thank you, Piggy. Um, yeah, th thank you, Ash. Um, I'm gonna. <laughs> start, that's, I'm my, gonna... that's my uh, check right there. <laughs> <laughs> Say my fucking name. Thank me, motherfucker. I'm just gonna do this worst Strickland or the Prince Nana dance now as we do the outro. Do you wanna deal with me? Uh, I don't even know what this is, but yes. Oh, I swear I'm gonna oh, drive. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I've been Piggy from watching a lot I've been joined by Ash. I don't know why the best thing is to just have a shit eating grin. Just. <laughs> uh, Please follow us on Twitter, X, Twitter slash X, Instagram, and Twitch, at Watching Walford, and subscribe to us on YouTube. I'm taking this fucking sweater off. <laughs> it's all coming unchained on the Strictly Speaking podcast. I'm what? Ash from Watching uh, Walford, and we have been joined by Piggy. Make sure to tell us if you like the show in the comment section down below. And in the future, we'll probably give you some like polls, you know, give you some options. Would you like to see this? Would you like to see that? And if we say we'll do it, we'll fucking do it. Because, well, we have made a lovely little channel where we get to talk about whatever the fuck we want to do. So ultimately, tell us what you want to see. Thank you for yeah. watching. Hope you've enjoyed Strictly Speaking episode two. The thumbnail is going to be Angela, Scan Angela Rippon's fucking leg being lifted all the way to the fucking moon. Had more chance getting up there than whatever the fuck Me Elon Musk shit stairs. fucking space company is. SpaceX, SpaceNet, wankers. A lot of them. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.